In October, uh, there was a very tragic killing of three kids in Afghanistan. It was uh, NATO-led forces uh, that had bombed them. Um, Borjan was a kid that was 12 years old. Uh, Sardar Wali was 10, and Khan Bibi was just eight years old. And so obviously this was tragic, and we have admitted that, in fact, yes, uh, we did do that. Major uh, Admiral Wojak, spokesman for the forces, said ISAF, that's the International Forces, did conduct a precision airstrike on three insurgents in the Nawa district, and the strike killed all three insurgents. Now notice they didn't say they were eight, 10, 12 year old kids, they were insurgents. Now the New York Times reports that that is not the case. In fact, they say, quote, the officials said, and they're quoting officials, they're not making this up. The officials said that the children were killed in a NATO strike on Sunday afternoon as they were gathering dung to burn as fuel a common practice in the desert reaches of southern Afghanistan where there are few trees. <sighs> you know what dung is, right? They're so desperate, they're digging up dung on the side of a road so they can go heat the house, use it as an energy source. And our military sees them, says, well, they're digging, maybe they're going to plant IEDs. Yeah, we recognize they're young, but we're going to kill them anyway. Now you might say, hey, wait a minute, they're from up above, they might not have recognized that they were young, that's what I first thought. Then it turns out they have confirmed it. There's an article in the Military Times, some Afghan kids aren't bystanders, that's the title, and they say in there, a Marine official here raised questions about whether the children were innocent. And then if that wasn't bad enough, Lieutenant Colonel Marion Ked Carrington said, it kind of opens our aperture, in addition to looking for military age males, it's looking for children with potential hostile intent. So if you're trying to scoop up dung for your family and you're an eight year old kid in Afghanistan, we think you have potential hostile intent. And we feel apparently perfectly justified in killing you on the side of the road. Witnesses said that they saw their limbs in different parts, obviously, there was a bomb dropped on them. Blood everywhere. Anybody got eight-year-old, a 10-year-old, 12-year-old, you have kids? And what do you think would happen if somebody did that to your kid and said, hey, you know, we're not even sorry about it. We thought that uh, now, from now on, your children are not necessarily innocent. They're potential hostile intent militants. You think you might want to fight those guys? maybe for the rest of time. Gee, I wonder why we haven't made any allies in Afghanistan and why that war has not gone well for us over the last 10 years. But this kind of admissions, give them credit for being frank about it, but it is bone chilling. Is this what America has become? When we say, well, eight year old, who cares? We're gonna kill him anyway, just in case. But remember, Joe Scarborough f had this figured out, you know. It, it, it's, they don't hate us for that. Joe, why do they hate us? They hate us because they hate us. 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 We did not repeat any of that. He did a segment where he kept saying it over and over again. It's not that we killed our eight-year-old. No, they hate us because they hate us. Yeah, you nailed it, Joe. You really figured that one out.